this is kind of a video of me complaining. So to make that slightly more cheerful, I thought that I would put my ears on. All right, good. Hopefully that has sorted out the problem. I've watched a lot of van videos recently whilst I've been house sitting, which I've been fortunate enough to do for the last three months. So I'm really lucky. Um, whilst I've been house sitting, I've been thinking about my van and watching these videos and thought, they're so positive. There's so many positive videos about van living. Occasionally someone makes one about like the shit bits, but often it's positive and I'm a bit guilty of that too. I tend to make a video when I've sorted something out, not when I'm stuck on a problem. So I thought I'd do one now whilst I'm just stuck on a few things really. It's mainly about how habitable my van is. In 2017, I was really trying to work out how adaptable I could be to quite basic living in my van. I mean, like I've said before, I've got no heating in it at the moment. And uh, it's also a really small space and I could have more of a bespoke design to it, but I've just been living with it kind of as, as it came to me with like no fridge and no running water. And the biggest thing is the heat. I was between house sets just this weekend and I just had forgotten how difficult it is to be in the cold. I got used to being in the warm. As soon as I got into my house, it actually, I went through about a month, maybe more, of exhaustion. I just suddenly started sleeping for 12 hours a day. And I didn't understand why that was until I just had this like weekend gap between house sits. And I was in the van for like a night and I got really freezing cold. And I'd for I was just not used to it anymore. Not that when I was used to it, it was good. I'd just forgotten that you could be warm. Bearing in mind, it's still like minus one, minus two outside at night at the moment. And then also I went and stayed with a friend, which was lovely and really accommodating. But then of course I'm sleeping on a makeshift bed and it so happened that her sleep pattern was to get up two hours earlier than I'm used to. And that just used to be normal to me. I hadn't realized how much it was, it was exhausting me. So I've, gone to my limits of how far can I go with the basic living situation that I've got and in 2018 I'm just going to have to work out what am I going to do about the stuff that I haven't yet adapted to or that I'm not going to adapt to I'm just not going to adapt to it I need to make my living situation better um, how do I save up the money for that how much money is needed or what resources are needed all of that you know I just don't know yet um, I'm just stuck on it and I was just kind of thrown and disappointed. So what do I do? That's the question. I don't know and that's why I'm making this video because I'm stuck, I'm frustrated and I don't yet have a solution. So there you go, there are some of the difficulties of van living. But what I would say is that I'm complaining but I'm sort of also not complaining because Everyone's life has got challenges to it and by living in a van I've often worried that I come, would come up under criticism any time that something does go wrong. So someone can go like, aha, you thought you were living the dream and now look what's happened to you, you should have just stayed in a house like me or whatever. I've, no one's ever really done that with me but I've always worried that they might. Um, and the fact is things went wrong when I lived in a house too, they were just different things. The question is about whether I'm alright with the challenges that I've got. And I'm frustrated about them at the minute, but they are at least the challenges I've chosen because they go along with the life that I've chosen. So I guess for me, that's the important thing right now. And I'll just keep on working on it.